Bugiarda, I can hear from your voice is not true. Why? What I baby, baby, you're the worst liar in the world. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. You guys know how I feel already about like starting videos like this and today's one is one where I want to share so many different things with you and I'm going to start with showing you some of the new products that I've discovered recently. Now these are brands that I have never even worked with. I don't have any kind of relationship with. I just tried these products and I really like them and I thought why gatekeep? I feel like gatekeeping is just not our vibe. I don't like to keep secrets from you guys and if I discover something that I think is really good I want to share it with you now I'm gonna be like very very honest about each and every product as always so you guys you guys know how we're all like first thing that I just randomly added to my basket is this milk hydro grip primer it's a base it's like a foundation base now I don't really like bases I don't really like primers that much they're like few ones that I really like I love the Gucci Beauty primer because I feel like it really holds and in general the reason why I don't like primers is because I feel like that it's always like an unnecessary necessary step. I like to just go in with makeup right away and make it like five product thing, right? So I just like the idea of this. I think it's the name what sold it to me, the grip. It seems like it's gonna hold the makeup. I don't know if that's what it's doing, but I love how my skin looks after I've applied this and then I apply foundation. It's, I wouldn't use the word sticky. I think grip is a perfect word. It's not sticky, but it's kind of like you really feel that once you apply a foundation, it glides on so perfectly. And what I don't like about primers usually is that the primer the, the makeup doesn't actually sit well on it you know it like either separates or it creates those little like tiny little particle things me no like it anyway this product i love and i strongly recommend is this the only product from milk yeah i bought another product from milk it's the like first product from this brand i think i'm using i bought another product but i haven't tried it on yet and if you guys have any other products that you would like to recommend to me from the brand let me know the other brand that i haven't got any relationship with but i've just tried like before i used to buy it back in the day when i lived in paris it's Kosas and I remember using their tinted face oil and the lip balm and I really like this kind of like a cool girl aesthetic for makeup but the brow gel guys the brow gel is where it's at I am obsessed I'm really really loving it I think it's really incredible I know it comes also in the color version but I really love this one and also even more so the brow pop it's like defining pencil but what I really love about it is the way that it's shaped and like the color Color. I just really feel like now I've already filled in my brows so I don't know if you'll be able to see but the way that I can like really precisely do my brows is incredible now next product was a gift from my friend Yoyo this is her own brand it's called Bromi and it's called dream skin tint this little product here ever since I came back from Korea I've used this because I really like that it's actually skincare but a little bit tinted it contains first of all it has SPF 50 it has 5% niacinamide 5% sea buckthorn 10% green the extract squalane which we know is very good for your skin and vitamin e so it's like a glow in a bottle it gives like very mild coverage like very nice like you can go like this is what i would like for example tomorrow morning i'm going for i don't know like an appointment right i'll just apply this i don't need to do a full face of makeup but i do want to look kind of acceptable right so this will be what i'll use it comes with like a little pump i just do a pump on my hands and i apply it and i love the fact that it's like skincare as well so you know when like today i want to wear a foundation i came across a new one it is by mac cosmetics and this is mac studio fix everywhere all over face pan crayon correcting total visage now like first of all it's the packaging that really got me it looks like this like a pan and then obviously you press here and it comes out like let me just show it to you you see what i mean why did i do this now my shade this shade that i got now is nc38 because i got back from maldives so i'm still like in my darker phase but normally i could be like from nc35 to nc42 in the summer months but i really really always loved studio fix it was one of the first foundations i've used sorry that now i'm like doing my makeup and like talking to you guys but you know what it is it like reminds me of those tiktoks so yeah i really really love this because it's quite like natural but quite as you can see glowy and nice really liked it i also tried the 
Radiant Concealer, beautiful skin from Charlotte Tilbury, really like it. I wear it around my eyes. I've only used this for like two, three days, but you guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury. The products are great and yeah, I just really wanted to try that. A blush that I found in a handbag. I've been searching for it since December. It's the Vestment Atelier Petal and the reason why I'm so happy that I discovered it. I tried to repurchase this so many times, but it's always sold out. I will link all the products that I'm mentioning in the description box below. So hopefully you'll be able to buy them. But honestly, this is so incredible. Like I will link it below if I can find it somewhere. Like the thing is, I could find it in some places, but they only like ship to US or UK or something like that. I know that like Netaporte had it, for example, but they only shipped to the UK. I couldn't ship it to Italy. I love a bit of like sunkissed look. Look at this. How pretty is this color? Like I said, hopefully you'll be able to get it in the description box below. Love this product. So happy I found it. Now I've been looking for a very good eyeliner and to be honest, it's not easy. I swear by the Tom Ford eye defining pen. Love it so much. It's like one of the best there are. Sorry. I just wanted a sip of coffee. Uh, one of the best there are, but like I discovered the Vive. It's Jamie Genevieve's brand and hold on. It's such a beautiful eyeliner. Like I love it. I yesterday I wore it and I was like, wow, this is very impressive. Also, the packaging is gorgeous. Look at this. Really beautiful. So I was like, yes. And the last but not the least, what's on my lips right now is the Dior. This was gifted to me by the brand. Dior Addict Lip Maximizer 016. Looks like this. And look at this. How pretty. Glossy. I'm very much into like glossy stuff lately. Now, everything else is basic. On my eyelids, I got the Hermes bronzer that I've shown you in the previous video. I also got it on my face as well. And uh, my mascara is the Gucci Beauty mascara. So you got it all. Besides the new beauty products that I was like, I need to show them to you. By the way, I'm wearing this top that you could have seen probably in my previous video. I hope so. If you watched it, I love it so much. It just makes me so happy. And now that I'm tanned, it's just such a perfect match, right? But I also wanted to show you some of the new jewelry that I got. Are you ready? I got a few new pieces. I'm like very much having like a jewelry obsession month and we need to talk about this. Now, the reason why I say I've been really obsessed with jewelry is because I feel like my jewelry wardrobe is very like classic. I have like some pieces that I've been wearing for many 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 years and others that I'm like okay I have on my wish list. You guys know that my wish list has certain pieces from Tiffany and Van Cleef and Cartier on it but I also like to kind of keep it fun and not too like boring and basic. I really always have loved uh, more classic pieces because the quality is always at the core of me. So if you watched and if you followed along my YouTube channel like for the past five plus years, you must remember the first ever biggest ever craze that I had when it comes to jewelry, which was the Misoma Lucy Williams collection, okay? Now, I loved this collection so much, okay, that I remember whenever I would see Lucy, I'd be like, if it was like winter, I'd be like digging down my knitwear and be like, look what I'm wearing. And it was just like a neck full of her necklaces. And she's like, okay, Tamara, I got it. Like, I feel at one point that was definitely too much. But honestly, the design was so impeccable that still, if I look at my jewelry drawer, it still has those first pieces that I got from Misoma, which were designed by Lucy Williams. It was a collaboration. Now, she did like, if I remember well at the time, like two collections that I was obsessing over, the Roman coin, the hoops. I was like, guys, do you remember how much I was wearing that stuff? It was like, not normal, okay? But if someone told me like Misoma would do another collection with Lucy Williams, I would be like, literally, I would wake up at 5 a.m. to stand in line for it because it's so good. So I received the best news ever that my long-standing partner Misuma London is doing another collaboration with Lucy Williams and I haven't actually opened it yet okay it is Lucy Williams collection for Misuma reimagined and I got four five six seven boxes here that I'm gonna decorate myself with now. We're gonna do other stuff as well throughout this video and you are going to see, oops, oh no, this was just my box of Misuma stuff that I accidentally put on, but it's not the Lucy Williams stuff. Okay, so there's six boxes, okay? And I cannot wait to open them. So we're gonna do one by one. And just for the transparency reasons, I wanted to say that obviously Misuma has been my partner for many years, but I've been wearing their jewelry even before I worked with the brand. Okay, I'm a little bit 
emotional about this. I don't know why I don't really get emotional about these things. This is weird. But the thing is, okay, that I used to wear those Lucy Williams hoops so much. And now they're back here. So in the first box, there's a pair of hoops. I'm going to put them immediately because I cannot wait. And this is what they look like. So they're a mix of like two metals. As you can see, like sort of a silver and gold. I'm going to put them right away. Obviously, the quality of these pieces, just if you see like it's sturdy, nothing is like flimsy or they're very very like for me i have incredible experience like i still have pieces that are five plus years long standing in my jewelry wardrobe and how beautiful are these this is like a true meaning of quiet luxury jewelry okay and you know i'm like really going for this type of stuff lately though summer is coming and i do like if i go to ibiza i'm not gonna be like you know i like to mix and match things let's do the small box because i'm very excited about it oh my god this is so pretty wow wait hold on to see this so you guys know i love malachite okay what i actually haven't shown you is what i got recently with malachite but this is a little hoop with a green pendant look at this i will link all of these products below so you guys can check them out because i think they're truly beautiful and and this hoop, I actually can put it behind the hoop that I'm wearing. What I really love about Misuma is like there are no rules, okay? There's no labels, no rules, no annoying. You wear this like that and you have to do this. You wear whatever you want, how you want. This is hard to do, by the way, without the mirror because I don't even know where my piercing is. Okay, here it is. You can wear pieces however you want. What Misuma wants, that like fans of the brand. What I just realized is that actually you can remove this pendant. So you can wear the hoop just as a hoop or with the pendant which is what i'm gonna do now look at this how cute right gorgeous okay miss Mo wants you to wear their pieces as you want as you shouldn't be defined by things you can wear whatever makes you the most confident ah oh, it looks like it just shows like tons of hoops okay but next hoops are the same as the first ones that i unboxed just smaller and this is exactly what i mean there's something for everybody look how beautiful Beautiful. How can I show this to you without actually... Yeah, love this. Okay, my hoop wardrobe is getting very strong. Next up, I remember very, very well that I picked some necklaces because I know that from this collection, necklaces are really so powerful. And next up, I have a gorgeous, literally reimagined coin pendant necklace to show you. We're gonna put it on right away, but it's like quite thick and beautiful and i think it opens you know it looks like maybe it doesn't open am i going crazy maybe i'm going crazy <gasps> guys it opens wait look at this this is the pendant where you can put like a tiny little picture of your dog or boyfriend or whatever you want but how adorable is this i'm gonna put this right away i love it and i love that it's like a bit thick but not too thick it looks very i think it looks just really great so easy beautiful <gasps> so pretty then I have one more box to open. I'm honestly, my God, this, this was, I think, one of my favorite necklaces that I had, but now it's like reimagined with a touch of green, but it was that like horn necklace. I don't know if that's the official name. I always called it the horn necklace. I worn it like a million times. And this like has a green touch of green, which I really love. And I'm going to go into that in a second. I'm really, really obsessed with the touch of green lately. Now let's see. I think I'm going to wear it at like longest. What's really great is that these necklaces are like perfect for layering which is why it's gonna look so good with the top that i'm wearing i'm gonna wear it on the longest there we go and this one maybe i'll shorten a little bit but i really love the way this looks now and like with a cartier necklace very very cute now i also got another one which i think is perfect for summer it's this kind of like a leather now i, ha I never had anything like this before well if you don't count the 90s but it's like a leather necklace these are really becoming popular now or maybe it's a bracelet i don't know but i want to wear it as a necklace so let me show it to you i think it's very cool obviously you can go as many like however you want you can wear as a necklace as a bracelet as a choker i don't know how it's supposed to be but that's another thing with misuma there are no rules did i not tell you that already you can wear it however you want i don't think i'm gonna wear it today with this stuff but maybe with another version and look at this how cute is this i'm loving this loving like loving 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 and i'm loving the hoops did i put them on both of my ears yeah this is like okay so let me tell you this the hoops 
with the two necklaces that I'm gonna be my everyday essential and I honestly I can vouch like that like quality of Misuma for me is just like really 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 great because they really put a lot of pride and effort in the way they make their jewelry and the materials that are used so I am a big fan as you know I mean you see that because I wear like there are no other hoops basically that I love as much as I these ones that I wore like they were all gold I wore them like more than 300 times in my life for sure but now I have a mix of silver and gold which is like perfect I'll link all the products below as well as the whole collection that you can check it out because I really think it's incredible and something to explore I I'm really into green so for me these like green bits are gorgeous I recently actually got a pair of Van Cleef malachite earrings I don't know if I've shown that yet but if not it's just like a proof that like how much I love the green and how much you know it's like all comes together and I love like styling my Misuma pieces with the other pieces that I already have in my wardrobe because I just think it's so beautiful all together so now that I've kind of decorated myself I think I'm gonna remove the green today and today I'm just gonna rock the first I'm like a bit less is more lately for ears I don't know why and then tomorrow we might go with these or with the smaller ones we'll see I love just layering looks so yeah one last thing that I want to say is how much I appreciate and I love and it's something that I spoke about in my previous videos as well how much I appreciate and I love when brands like give you all the freedom to be who you are to kind of like bring out this creative world in us to be sort of free to wear the pieces we want and how we want and there's no like is this for a man or for a woman it could be for anybody like you know like this necklace can be worn as a choker like I'm wearing it now or it can be worn longer or can be worn as a bracelet or I don't know you can put it around the scarf in your head or whatever you want like it is your world like you are free to decide who you want to be and how you want to do it but they just do their part by using the best materials and providing the best quality that's my two cents now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go make another cup of coffee and yeah get a little croissant croissant because it's breakfast time now let's get going okay so here's my little croissant with pistachio cream and I know that like the whole world says pistachio or pistachio or whatever it is but when in Italy if you go somewhere and you're like can I have a I don't know like ice cream with pista pistachio mm, the thing is like the like the I guess the correct pronunciation in Italian is pistachio so it's a very much of a thing so yeah you're just gonna have to deal with it another thing in italy is when you order a coffee you know they you are either like for example soya latte or oat latte or whatever you drink or classic latte you will just get milk in italy you have to say latte macchiato that's milk with coffee otherwise it's just milk it happened to me before trust me i'm gonna eat and fill you in what we're gonna do today i know some people say and i couldn't agree more it is rude to eat and talk but i read many like a psychological books that say you know like eating and sharing food is very deeply enrooted in our dna and we only share food with people that we sort of like consider them our tribe mm, this is so good it's been like that since forever right so i know it's a bit rude but i like when i speak to you guys it's like i consider you my family we are like well we're not talking i'm talking but i feel like we're seated at the table enjoying life also side note it's season of my favorite flowers i have currently three different colors of peonies in my house the white the pink and the sort of coral ones i just wish i could get peonies all year round because i love them so much they make me so happy today we are gonna get dressed we're gonna go to Hermes presentation to see accessories i know you guys care because i care so we are going to see that and basically it's like um a showroom appointment we're gonna see all the best pieces i feel like i cannot wait to discover what's in it for us in the fall winter yeah so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go maybe have a little stroll in town tonight we have a dinner i'm gonna bring you with me the dinner is actually going to be in my agency offices i believe i brought you there ah that's great maybe if i have some packages i can bring them home we have like we've been there together you know it's the office but what's happening is that my agency is hosting a dinner with Armani so it's like an Armani bold dinner and I'm gonna of course attend to support see some friends catch up all the usual things tomorrow morning I have a pedicure appointment and a facial and then I think I'm gonna start packing hold on a second I think I was supposed to receive some Gucci looks because we're going to Korea on Saturday so or if you're watching this on Sunday yesterday we went to Korea but you're gonna watch a weekly vlog so you know I need to prepare have a facial do my pedicure I had my nails done like I love how they turned out I always get my nails done in Ministry of Nails they're just literally the best and now I'm having such a French 
manicure and pedicure moment because I think it looks so clean and so beautiful. I'm also in a phase where I managed to almost fully clear out my wardrobe. So I'm very happy with my wardrobe situation right now. And also it's going to be so much easier to pack when everything is tidy and cleared up. I want to like tidy the rest of my home, organize some bits before I leave because once I leave guys, last night I had a dinner with my manager and he was like, Tamara, brace yourself because I'm getting so many like requests from the brands and like for example for the period of 10th to 15th of June I had four overlapping requests and I just had to say no also especially because I have like a very private family event on those dates so I was like it's just so much going on so he was like organize your life sort your things because soon honey you will be on the road non-stop so you know let's fuel up and let's get going I received something in a box from Luzivia Roma it's not a very big box it's just one item I know what it is because it's actually I wanted to show it to you it's something I have exchanged and I've been looking forward to it so much because I don't remember when I last time liked something this much. So before my Shanghai and Seoul trips, I actually did a little Louis of Yoroma haul. I don't know who remembers, if you remember. If not, I will insert like a clip where I actually tried on this particular item. And I'm so excited to wear this. Now, you probably remember, I got this Magda Butram blush pink suit. It's so beautiful. I got the pants, the waistcoat, and the jacket, and it's perfect. But the pants were honestly like, I'm a size 36, I've always been a 36, but for some reason, they were too big. And honestly, like everything else is perfectly fine in size 36. It's not like, oh, something changed. It's just like these pants, I guess, the way they're made, I think they're made to be sitting a little bit lower. I don't know. So I exchanged them for size 34 and they've arrived and I'm so happy because this is something I'm looking forward to wearing so, so, so much. I actually have, so I've told you, like we're going to Seoul, then coming back here, then going to Isola Bella for the Louis Vuitton cruise show. Then I'm going to go to Monaco for Formula One. So I have like a lot of things happening, but then in June, I'll also be going to Portofino. I also have one surprise trip. It's going to be our anniversary. So Filippo and I are going on a little surprise trip and I don't know where I'm going there i'm gonna pack like some cute things we always do this one trip Philippa and i in june i would say or like end of may where we kind of like don't really do much we act like tourists so one of the most beautiful trips that i can remember was when we went to venice i think in 2021 like i've taken like a very few pictures but that was it like there was not really much content happening here we were taking and, it, and just keep in mind Philippa was from venice okay so it's like even more funny we were taking gondola rides you know with gondolier and just like acting like so silly like tourists and doing like all those kind of cheesy things like eating in the square you know then we went to Santorini like as one of our first holidays like but it's just like so funny because then Philippe was like let me take a picture of you or let's take a selfie but like we don't really take it too seriously like content creation but I want to pack a lot of cute outfits because when we go on these holidays I feel like so I don't know like I just feel so I don't bring any anything that I don't want to wear I only wear like the nicest things because I feel like it's my boyfriend and myself and we get dressed up and we go out for a dinner and we act like, you know, back in the day how I feel like I would only travel like once or twice a year for a holiday and I would bring my best wardrobe and we would dress up for each other and that's exactly how I feel and I'm looking forward to it so much. So that's the plan just... I need to figure out where we're going, guys, but I will figure it out. Anyway, we're going to Portofino. I'm going to, in June, I'm also going to Mykonos, maybe Saint-Tropez. I was supposed to go to Stockholm. I had an invite to go to Stockholm and to Ravello as well, mid-June, but unfortunately I can't make it due to the family. I mean, not unfortunately, because it's like a matter of choice, especially because like everything that's happened in the world lately, I really want to spend as much time as possible with my family. So especially for important big birthdays and nice events, I'm very much looking forward to spending time with my family. So that's that. Let's go and put this in my wardrobe now and I'll show you how far I made it with the wardrobe organization. I'm actually very proud of it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna pack for that trip with Filippo even though if it's in one month but I just need to investigate like and nobody's gonna tell me so I'm gonna try and figure out baby listen so what I need to understand is so can I try and guess will you say yes if I guess where we're going mm, no <laughs> so I understood it's not Portofino because if it was Portofino I would have stayed there right yes yes we're, we're going with the car or with the plane this is very important we are yeah, we're going with the plane. With the plane? Yes. Are we going to Capri? Oh. I think, okay, okay, okay. But are you sure it's not Florence? 
If your wife thought it. I don't know. I just feel like I feel like you're gonna take me to Florence. But then you said something that I understood. That is not. I understood because you said, why would we go to Florence? We've never went to Florence. So it means that it's somewhere where we've been before and it's in Italy. Yes. So I'm getting closer. So it could be, these are the cities we've been to in Italy before. Naples. Capri, yes, yes. Puglia, I'm sure you're not taking me to Puglia. We're going to, well, Portofino it's not, so it's Venice, yes. Padova. Yes. Are you bringing me to Padova? Maybe we fly into Padova now. <laughs> Lol. So it's Capri, I figured it out. Uh, yes, yes, we're going to, yes, to Capri. Ah, uh, bugiarda, I can hear from your voice, it's not true. Why? What else baby, could be? baby, you're the worst liar in the world. Uh, baby, that's a good thing, no? Yeah, it's a very good thing. It's, a, yeah. it's why you're my boyfriend. Mm. I love you so much. Okay, but you need to go. Okay, baby. Have a good day, See you later. I am also heading out and I speak wait, to you wait. later. Okay, I try to investigate what is the situation, but I don't think I'm gonna get very lucky or very far. I, like Filippo says, we're going with a plane, but honestly, I don't even trust that. Let's see. But I received an interesting email like five minutes ago and I want to share it with you. Wait. The email says, it says, it's like a newsletter from Adam RPGA, which is my favorite watch brand in the whole entire world. And it says AP coverage service. We're pleased to inform you that you can benefit from the AP coverage service to cover the risks of theft, as well as partial or total functional damage for your watches purchased 2022 or 23. So AP, the most innovative watch house i mean I, I could say so many words what i think about that brand i think it's the most innovative modern luxurious brand of watches there is but anyway um they are actually starting this new initiative where if your watch gets stolen or broken obviously depending on they're gonna like do like proper investigation and everything to make sure that how it happened that is true they will like replace your watch up until certain value or a certain value of repair and i think this is so incredible because in today's world and time of people being scared of wearing like a watch because there's so much theft which is helping the second market that we want to like prevent from what like from, from being so active this is what brands should be doing and it's interesting that it's only ap that came up with this idea and i remember this so well because when i got robbed i don't want to trash any brands but you guys will know there was a golden watch that i had and when i like went to the boutique at first i didn't really get much they were like uninterested in anything like you know they were like oh okay whatever later on i managed to get somewhere with kind of providing certain information i don't even go into that but i think like brands should really think about this and i'm so proud that like my favorite watch brand is thinking so much ahead and is so innovative with trying to protect their customers from these like events like it should be something that brands have already told about anyway that being said also i have a new watch on my wish list guys and it's like some of you i'm sure have already noticed which one it is because i've mentioned it a few times before i've shown it before but i'm so looking forward to it i've spoken about it like six months ago that i wanted that i'm gonna place it on my on my wish list so yeah exciting summer i had i hope now let's get dressed let's get ready and we don't want to be late for hermes i'm just getting dressed i have to strap up my here so unfortunately it's gonna be visible but okay i think so we're going to the hermes presentation and i just thought i'd try on this new skirt that i got it's a maxi white denim from reformation i'll link it below as well so you guys can check it out and i quite like this perhaps i can have like a nice jacket over it let's see should i wear this you know what bothers me so much when there's like two different whites as in this instance this doesn't really quite work for me let's see i'm not really going that for that long this could be nice actually it's quite cute the thing is though i think it's pretty cold like surprisingly like the spring's over okay it was like here for a hot minute and it's gone so i'm thinking i definitely need a jacket i need like a whitish off whitish jacket that could be nice if i end up wearing this but what about on my feet i just want to see the vibe like this could be no it's a bit too weird i've got the chiper sandal on but i don't really quite like it 
Orans would go well, but I think it's too early in the year to go take out my Orans. So wait, let's see the jacket. What kind of jacket I'm gonna wear. Just to understand if I need a crop blazer. Yep. I think I'm gonna change altogether the bottom because I'm not really feeling the white denim skirt. Also it needs ironing and I'm not gonna be ironing it now. I do love it though. I decided, so we ditched the skirt, though I love it, but maybe just too white for today. It's a gloomy day anyway. I think I'm gonna go like this, pretty casual. Should I go for this? Now I can actually go for the B25. And I think I'm gonna wear a pair of sneakers, probably my out of office. Filippo just told me yesterday he's gonna get me a new pair because these are quite worn. I'll link them below. I love them. They're my favorite off-white sneakers, the out of office ones. They're just so comfy. I'll put socks on. I just wanna see what it looks like altogether. The reason why I like this look is because it's pretty effortless, like a suit and a sneaker because I feel like it's one of my signatures and I really like it. I had, like I told you, I went for a dinner last night out with my uh, manager and I wore a black suit and the sneakers and it's just so casual but so put together. So this is going to be my look for the Hermes presentation. Let me just put away all the mess that I've created in the meanwhile. Technically, I don't really need this blazer. It's not that cold, but you know, I just like the idea. It looks a little bit more like more effort. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna also remove, I think, the top necklace that I'm wearing just because I feel like it's too much, but it's honestly like so easy. That's the beauty of it, that you, I can style it however I want. The beauty of layering my necklaces. And then I'm gonna come home. What are we gonna do, guys? We're gonna change the look all together because we're going for the dinner. Probably I'm gonna be home around six and then I'll have time until 7.30 to swap around. I wanna wear something a little bit more, maybe even a pair of heels. It is going to be not a seated dinner, it's going to be like a cocktail, but I wanna wear something more like something different anyway. I feel like really dressing up, especially now that I've like managed to tidy my wardrobe and like do it all up. So what I'm gonna do is I'll update you when we're back. Well, we're gonna go to Hermes first, but then as soon as we're back, we're gonna change the look. Before we leave, I wanted to show you what's in my bag. A little, very, very, very short snippet. Okay, I've, so I've just sprayed a little bit of fragrance. It's one of my favorite Hermes fragrances, actually. It's, it's this one. It's not like one of their most expensive fragrances. I have two of their like sort of like high-end fragrances that I really like. But that's not the topic of today. And this was is L'Ambre de Marveille, something like that. Anyway, the point is, I have written a blog post about my like favorite winter fragrances, favorite spring, summer. This changes every year, so I always add if I have something to add. And this was on the list, so you probably already know it's divine. So what I've done is, as you guys could have seen, I've like removed the leather necklace. I've kept the two other ones, and I decided to add on the lighter hoops. I quite like how they sit together. If you like hoops, you will love this. I also put on my some of my rings I put my promise ring this is the Jaston Clou Pavé my love that I always wear on pinky and this is like one of the first rings that like first more precious gifts that Filippo ever bought me this like a diamond reposi ring so that's on my hands and now finally what's in my bag well first things first is my phone at the moment I'm going through a phase where I'm not wearing or carrying any kind of phone cover I don't know why it's been like a month I just bought like this special screen protector that's what I'm wearing and carrying in my bag I have this light that I just got it's like a brand new I haven't actually used it yet it's something that you attach to your phone but it's giving you see look at this no light light and I think it's quite nice if I want to vlog something when in like really badly lit areas. I have a pair of sunglasses. These are my favorite. I have three pairs because I always have to have a spare pair in case I lose one. It's my favorite, favorite pair of sunglasses. I will link them below. Guys, they're the best. They're the most flattering. They suit everybody. And the reason why I have a few pairs is because one of my friends always steals one pair and that's okay. I love them. I have my card holder. This is one that I got from Chanel. It's just a very classic one. You guys saw when I unboxed it in January. I actually, funnily enough, I have a receipt from Hermes. What did I buy? I bought the Chai Per Sandal and whatever I bought with the Chai Per Sandal. I can't remember, but that's what's in here. I have 55 euro cash. I never, ever, ever have any cash with me or on me, but it's because it's been raining like crazy in Milan and I don't want to risk it. Like if I see a cab, I want to jump in. I have a room key from Park Hyatt in Paris. 
it's been like five months probably. I have a lipstick, it's the one that's on my lips right now. This is Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Like, I mean, I pretty much used it up. And this is in shade Penelope Pink. I have one of my favorite, this and Summer Fridays, like Summer Fridays one I love so much, but honestly, I don't have any at the moment. I need to get my hands on some. And the other favorite of mine is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. This is really nice when my lips are dry. I have some old receipt. I don't know what this is for it's a 70 euros for taxi wow and that's that so this is the bag that i'll be carrying with me i'm gonna quickly repack it without the rubbish sunglasses wallet lipstick light lip balm and my phone lock up the house and let's get going finally again and here we have something very special we have the Constance 18 in box leather with the studs, can you see? And the mini Kelly box with Palladium hardware and studs. I think I've shown you this already, guys, but these two are my absolute favorites. Look how rock and roll this one is. It's like really, really, really amazing. I know lots of people love this masterpiece here. I love it. I love to see it, but if I could choose one, Yep, yep, yep. Okay guys, just finished the Hermes. I have to say like, I love the Italian team. They're the kindest. We had to look at all the bags. I mean, I've seen them already. I've seen them in Paris. I've seen them again in Milan, but it's just something that personally, if I can see over and over and over again, I am in. I also learned a lot of things. Something that I learned that a lot of you have asked me before is you know the Birkin with the strap? I'll insert the picture from the last fashion show collection. A lot of you have asked me if the strap is being sold separately or it's something that's going to be sold only with the bag. And the fact is the strap is going to be sold separately. So that's great news. I also saw a pair of shoes that I'm gonna send my essay right away, even if they're coming out only in winter months. So yeah. Guys, I'm back home from the Hermes appointment. As you can see in the bag there, I still haven't like tied it. I just arrived home and I thrown my bag and my carrier bag on the couch because Philippe was at home. And there is no amount of joy and happiness that I can tell you that that man brings in a house. He was just telling me that like he's changing um, where he's sitting in his office and people are upset because he's gonna be one floor further. And I can understand because when he's not around, like, I mean, obviously, like, I'm very independent, you guys know that, but, like, when he comes back, he brings so much joy. And what am you? Yes, baby. Where are you going? He's going for a dinner and for a game, football game, and I'm going for my dinner. So what I'm gonna do, I think, I'm gonna take off this suit, I'm gonna have, a, like, a little drink, maybe a cup of tea, like a cup of rooibos, that is my favorite, and then get ready to go for the dinner at my agency but yeah I, I honestly have to say that like obviously last month as you guys could have noticed there was like less Filippo because we had different traveling schedules but there is nothing there is nothing I love more than when you are at home and I'm at home too not just you're at home me too me too me too because I miss you so much and you're my best you're my best 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 thing in the world so yes uh, that's the current plan a little cup of rooibos and I'm gonna change because I love this outfit. Filippo just told me it looks so chic. I love it, but I feel like, you know, judging it up a little bit for fun. So, change the look because I was feeling this more. It's a very casual dinner, I told you. And my agency, and here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this blazer that is like sort of a hourglass vibe blazer but it's from wardrobe the brand and i will link it below i hope you can see it properly because i think it's truly utterly gorgeous underneath it i've got a little bit top the new one that i got in my last haul so this is it i mean surely is a little bit unexpected but i wanted something like quite easy underneath i'm wearing these jeans that are literally my go-to jeans at the moment i've been wearing them a lot in one of my last instagram pictures that i've just posted now i've got it i love 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 these jeans so much if i can find them obviously i will link them below i had them for two years now but if i find them i will also buy one more pair i've also got my constance box got inspired by the hermes uh, presentation because there was that constance 
uh, 18 in box leather as well over there. Really love it. My Gucci look has arrived. I actually am wearing still the jewelry that I wore before. Like this is the beauty also about me. So like sometimes I don't take off these necklaces, don't tell anybody, for like months. So you know, like sometimes they poke out, other times they don't. And it's always looking pretty effortless and cool. This is the look and I've got the Chanel crystallized flat sling bag. So that's it, gonna pack the bag now. And we gotta go because I think the traffic's not gonna be in our favor. It's, you know, that time of the day. Also, I just realized one thing I was like, oh tonight i'm gonna change because i will want to wear some heels and i mean this is not quite exactly the definition of heels is it but in my defense i really am feeling now like after a little bit of discussion of who's kind of like what type of dinner it's gonna be i decided to go for this look which is very basic but i think i'm gonna feel very good it's like just like a lot of kind of good pieces good morning guys it's a new day i got my coffee ready look at this how beautiful it's a work of art it looks like it's kind of dark but it's not it's a beautiful morning i think at least it's not raining so it's a beautiful morning we are going to types of skin for my facial they usually give me this kind of very special contouring facial where all the muscles are like massaged and like the skin is kind of like tightened and put in place and i'm gonna have pedicure first actually so it's a pedicure then facial then i have a lunch with some friends in town today i have one call and that is basically more or less it i think let me just have a look at my calendar i have one call i need to pack for soul or start packing i have to try my gucci look to see if it fits and yeah i have to create some content so that's the plan i'm gonna take you with me to types of skin so it's all gonna be part of this vlog so yeah that's it that's what we're doing today let's get dressed first okay guys i don't know how cold it is outside but i think this is going to be my look i got the celine trousers the prada top salon jacket my chanel grandpa slippers because i'm going for a pedicure so i want to have open toe and shall i go for this the only thing is this has like a logo here and then with this it's a bit too much maybe if i close it it's fine so then it'll be like this okay need to pack my bag i love my cargo birkin honestly this is one bag that i'm just so so happy that i got i love it we need to pack it what did i wear last night my constance we need to pack the bag and we need to get going because i need to be there in 15 minutes no makeup because facial right after so bare face i have to say there is nothing better than having my morning coffee here because it's so beautiful do you agree phil mm -hmm. how beautiful the home is coming together i'm so happy with it what besides this part here which needs to be fixed but don't you think it's beautiful well i think it's beautiful yeah yeah what is your favorite part the one there where you're sitting yeah same yeah I love it. I also love the dining room. 100%. Dining room is also my other favorite. <laughs> Okay guys, it's time for my facial. I had my pedicure and I love, like I told you, I'm very much in a French face. So cute. And now, time to relax. And I love this room so much. It's especially nice if it's like raining because I love the sound of the rain on the window. But even when it's not, it's just so relaxing and divine. sweet home straight from facial and uh, pedicure i am gonna jump in shower i want to wash my hair and style it and i think i'm going to show you how i do all of that in my next video because i'm getting a lot of questions about showing you how i use my dyson air wrap and i wanted to show you like different ways that i personally use it so i thought like now would be a perfect time since i'm at home and since yeah i could do a little yeah anyway um i hope this visit video wasn't too long i wanted to show you a bit of everything i will love you and leave you thank you so much for watching all the way till the end see you in my next one bye guys